G'day Gemini, welcome to TJ Tarot Down Dark and the do the love energy coming towards you as that now. See what's going on, hey? Decks I'm using today will be listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them in case you are interested. Reading is going to be a little bit different today, but still the same reading. Still the same amount of cards and all that stuff. Just trying to get the cards out a bit quicker. I'm enjoying doing one of, yeah, the ones I've done so far, so hope you enjoy it too. Alright, give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Gemini, please. Okay, so we've got one. Two, and that one is three. That one goes back. Okay. And we'll get the clarifiers out now. Now, something I want to mention. Over 80% of you are watching my videos and haven't subscribed. So, how about scrolling down just a little bit? And hitting that subscribe button, <laughs> you cheekies. <laughs> it's way too many of you keep coming back and watching and you're not subscribed. So come on, hit the subscribe button. It's not hard. It's free. Come on. <laughs> All right. Card number one for the love energy coming towards Gemini, please. Card number two. Okay. One, two, three, and four. Okay, and card number three. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Mm, so they're very optimistic about something with you. Ooh, wishing for it with the star. <sighs> wishing for the pain to be over. To heal this. Yeah, they're feeling very restricted right now. Knowing they sabotage something here. Hoping to be, yeah, get your attention and get be successful here. Wishing for the pain to be over. Mm, to come out from being restricted and have your attention. Mm. Very optimistic here that things will, yeah. That they can heal this. Alright, retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So they've retreated. The Magician. The Five of Cups. The Ace of Cups. And the Page of Wands. Yeah, they've retreated because they wanted to manifest something with you, but all they did was disappoint you. They ended up with disappointment. They wanted to offer you this love. But, hmm... They were very immature in their actions here. This can be flirting. They wanted to give you love, but yeah, they might have just flirted with you instead. Because what they were trying to manifest with you ended up a disappointment. They wanted love here, but yeah. So yeah, they've retreated. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So some sort of healing they want to do. Page of swords, but they need more information on how to work this out with you. Eight of pentacles. And yeah, that's, that's a real massive burden that they're carrying here. The fact that they want to heal this. And they want to work this out with you. Want to work on this, but yeah. 
And they're just, well, they're just watching you at the moment. But they want more information on how to heal this. Because they're so burdened by the fact that things aren't healed between you two. Alright. Bottom of the deck. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Well, that's what they're hoping. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Yeah, they really do want to make the effort here. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yeah, they came across very passionately, but that's a, that was a lie. Because, yeah, they really wanted to make the effort to open their heart and give you love. But, yeah, they messed up. And acted immature with their actions. Bottom of the deck here. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. They wanted something stable with you right from the beginning. The strength card. But they didn't have the courage to do it. Yeah, and they didn't know how to tell you that. They needed... Yeah, they didn't have the courage to tell you that. That they wanted to work on something stable with you. Three of Pentacles. <sighs> They messed up. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, they might have just acted flirty instead of showing love. Retreated from showing love and trying to manifest with something with you and just disappointed you with flirtiness instead of being real about what they really wanted. All right, give me three more cards for the love energy coming towards Gemini, please. Two more, please. And one more. Yeah, they're definitely feeling burdened by the fact that they didn't they didn't speak up, speak their truth about wanting to work on something with you and how much they wanted to work on something with you, how much work they wanted to put into a relationship with you. Instead, they just acted immature. Again, the Ace of Pentacles, wow. Okay, card number one. Clarification, please, for the love energy coming towards Gemini. Card number two. Ooh, okay. And card number three. Ah, oh, it's gone on the floor. Cheeky bugger. Come on. <laughs> okay. And we'll look at the bottoms at the end. Okay. So, first up, we have Rabbit Fertility. Your creativity is at a peak. See what they're trying to create here. Success. Six of Wands again. To get your attention. Ten of Swords. Yeah, and to end the pain. Yeah. Yeah. To end the pain and the nightmare. What's oh, the Nine of Swords, sorry. Yeah. And that nightmare. Yeah, to end the nightmare and... Have success with you. Oof. Or at least get your attention back again. Eagle spirit. Trust in your higher self. Alright. Let's see what the higher self is saying. Seven of cups. The empress. The tower. And the three of coins. Yeah.
I'm hearing that the, the higher self is saying it's your choice. If you want to create something here, there's going to have to be a big change. And you're going to have to put a lot of work into this. They know that. Yeah, if they want to grow something with you. Yeah, things are going to have to change. Big change. And they're going to have to put that work in. Okay, that's what the higher self is telling them. And elephant resolve. You will overcome any obstacles. And we've got the two of coins and the two of swords. Oh, two twos. Wow. They want to balance things out with you, but they don't know what to say. I'm hearing afraid, like hiding behind this veil. They're afraid of what to say. And what you'll say about them wanting to sort things out and resolve the problems, the ob obstacles between you two to balance this out. Like they're walking a tightrope here. All based on what you're going to say, whether you want to resolve this or not. Ooh, Gemini. Bottom of the deck. Wise, ki wise fool, coyote. Accept your follies and find the teaching in them, which I think is what they've done. Wolf, guardian. You are safe and protected at all times. Owl, omens. Well, pay attention to the signs. Hmm. Crows are noisy today. Lion, courage, ask for what you want. So they're going to try and get the courage up to ask for what they actually want here. They're trying to pay attention to signs and see if you'll give them any sort of sign here. They want to, yeah, they want to actually protect and, and save this relationship. Now that they've seen the error of their ways. And their fool, the, yeah, their foolishness, how they were foolish. The star, wow. Four of coins, page of swords, and the strength card, yeah. Yeah, they're wishing to heal this. They're still holding on to this connection here. They've been watching you, trying to get information about you so that they can, yeah, to help them to see whether they, you know, should be brave with the strength card and try and approach you. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Oops. Wow. Mm. Yeah. I don't think they did anything major. I just think that they came across too flirty instead of, yeah, because, well, yeah, they're afraid it's not going to work out. Well, they love it when you smile at them. But, yeah, they're afraid it's not going to work out because, yeah, they know they're stuffed up by coming across flirty instead of, Coming across with honesty and emotion and love and stability, yeah. Alright, give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Gemini. What do they want to say to Gemini? One. Almost a couple more, but they went back in. Come on, at least two more. Thank you. Alright, Oh. Okay, we have, yeah, could we start again, please? Oh, yeah, yeah, they want to start again. And start with stability, like we have at the bottom of the deck here. Start with a stable offer. Yeah. I can't right now. Yeah, I think they're freaking out. They're freaking out. They're really scared because they don't know how to fix this. Yeah, they're really freaking out. 
your energy heals me. Oh, yeah, they think your energy is absolutely beautiful. It puts them so high up, it makes them feel amazing when they're with you. And there was someone else. Ooh, what's this about? They're worried someone else is going to snap you up. They're worried that so there'll be someone else that comes along and takes you. Can we at least be friends? I feel safe with you. I've hidden my love for you. And lying was easier than telling the truth. Yeah, they were lying <clears throat> about the floatingness. They, they wanted love. That was the truth here. They hid their love from you and didn't tell you. But wow, yeah. And look, it is, is it safe for you to love? It is safe for you to love. I feel safe with you. They know that they could open, they've safely opened their heart up to you. Can we, yeah, nah, they don't, they don't want to, yeah. They don't want to be friends. They don't want to, yeah. Well, they don't want to be in the friend zone. <laughs> Yeah, they're hoping that they can get your attention again and start again. <clears throat> you know. A, bit, a more grounded, friendly... Yeah. Hey, if you, you only want to be friends, that's fine. They'll, they'll, they'll take that. They'll understand that. They, they know that they're stuffed up by not approaching the right way. So... Yeah. If you say, ah, oh, look, no. Nah. Just be friends, that's, yeah, they'll, they'll take it, but they want more than that with you. And they know they're stuffed up. Alright. Message for Gemini, please, from the universe. Whoa. Wow. Those cards went nuts. And oh god, it's gone flying across the floor. Hang on a second. Hang on. Oh, that went flying. Okay, let's see what we've got for you. We have Mother Healing. As your feelings towards your mother heal, your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. Um, I also take this as the feminine side, um, your, your feminine side. It doesn't have to be issues with your mother. Um, if you do have issues with them, you know, sort those out because it's blocking you at the moment, but it ju could just be your feminine side. We all have masculine and feminine. Um, yeah, if you need to do that, do it. Simplify your life. Eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activities. So, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Set your sights higher. Increase your standards and expect more for yourself. Don't settle. Yeah. Yeah, looks like the star card, like, yeah, set your sights higher, expect more for yourself, yeah, you deserve the best, Gemini, and this is the one that went flying, let yourself receive, allow others to give you loving care and receive without guilt or apologies, yeah, yeah, definitely, Definitely. Bottom of the deck, positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. Yes, definitely. Playtime. The dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and manifestations. So, yeah, don't forget to have fun. Dream big. Let go of small thoughts about yourself and see yourself succeeding. So, again... Set your sights higher and dream big. Yeah. And accept heaven's help. You've prayed for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. Okay. So, yeah. Wow. 
Is there something you've been praying for? Maybe you need to get out of the way and let heaven help you. Stop blocking it. Yeah. Something that you might be blocking by getting in the way. Instead of just letting it flow the way it's meant to flow. So if possibly you're forcing, trying to force something or hold back from something or rather than just letting things happen the way they're meant to happen. So, yeah. Get out of the way. Because <laughs> it's coming through. It's something, yeah, really good. This is nice. All right. That, that's really nice for you. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I um, don't know how you feel about this person, but yeah, they came in flirty, but that wasn't their intention at all. They, um, actually were looking for love with you, so hopefully they haven't messed up too much, but, mm. All right, well, that's your reading. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, all you people who will keep watching and don't subscribe. <laughs> Click that button. And yeah. Be nice in the comments. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying this new type of reading. We still get the the same amount of cards out and the messages are coming out. But yeah, it's so much better flow. <laughs> All right. All the best. Thanks for watching. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.